Hello everyone. Let's look at the CP get chemistry syllabus and uh, the subject wise way it is. So basically, CP get chemistry syllabus is divided into two parts. Part A consists of 40 marks and part B consists of 60 marks. And in part A, you have coordination compounds, metal carbonyls, bioinorganic chemistry, hard and soft acid bases as part of inorganic chemistry. And you have organic chemistry topics, carboxylic acids and derivatives, synthesis, synthesis based on carbonyls, nitrohydrocarbons, heterocyclic compounds, carbohydrates, amino acids and proteins. Then in physical chemistry, you have electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, thermodynamics, photochemistry. And you also have spectroscopy topics like molecular spectroscopy, NMR spectroscopy and mass spectroscopy. And the inorganic part of the part A consists of 8 marks, carries 8 marks. Then organic part will carry 12 marks. Physical chemistry part will carry 13 marks. And the spectroscopy will carry 7 marks. In part B, we have D block, including zero group elements, chemistry of D block and the block, inorganic qualitative and quantitative analysis, chemical bonding, series of bonding in metals as part of inorganic chemistry. And in organic chemistry, we have structural theory, hydrocarbons, halogen compounds, alcohols, phenols, ethers, and epoxides carbonyl compounds, stereochemistry. In inorganic chemistry, atomic structure, physical chemistry, atomic structure, gaseous, liquid and solid state chemistry, solutions, phase rule, collides, surface chemistry, and you have evaluation of analytical data. And if you look at 23 marks, the major chunk of the in our game, chemistry will be 23 marks, then organ chemistry about 21 marks, remaining part 16 marks. Now look, look at the chapter wise weightage, structural in subject that is organic, inorganic, and physical around organ chemistry and spectroscopy, that including spectroscopy, about 40 marks are coming. Structural theory about three marks, that one or plus or minus one or two marks. Hydrocarbon six marks, halogen compounds, alcohols, phenols, ethers, carbonyl compounds, about nine marks. Carboxylic acids and derivatives, two marks. Synthesis based on carbonyls, one mark. Nitro compounds, three marks. Cytocyclics, two. Carbohydrates, three. Amino acids and proteins, one. Stereochemistry, three. Spectroscopy, two. Mass spectrometry, two. In physical chemistry, you have atomic structure 3, kinetics 3, photochemistry 1, thermodynamics 3, electrochemistry 3, solutions 5, phase rule 1, surface chemistry and collides 4, gases, liquid and solid state 5, analytical data 2. In organ chemistry is concerned, 3 marks for chemical bonding, P block including 0 group 11, D and F block 3, coordination compounds 5, metal carbonyls 3, bioinorganic. 1, HSAB 1, qualitative and quantitative analysis 2, bonding in metals 1. About 30 from physical, 30 from inorganic. And organ chemistry spectroscopy will form 40 marks. About 80% of the questions are, if we looking at the analysis, about 80% of the marks are coming from the structural theory. <coughs> Alkanes, 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 aromatic compounds, alkyl halides, uh, then alcohols, phenols, ethers, carbonyls, acids, and that's a sequence of compounds. Then stereochemistry, nitrogen compounds, heterocyclics, carbohydrates, and spectroscopy. Whereas in physical chemistry, major chapters are electrochemistry, chemical kinetics, thermodynamics, calligative properties, gas state, and surface chemistry. In inorganic chemistry, you have Dynamic structure, chemical bonding, P block, T block, then coordination compounds, organometallic compounds. 
these are the major chapters you need to concentrate on the remaining one or two splinter topics. So believe in yourself. So remember, whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe, it can achieve. One strong, balanga, namite, and katapakunda jaripotan. So believe in yourself. Wish you all the best.